Hey guys, happy flower day. We have a beautiful box coming to your front door this week. It's a beautiful, crisp, fresh, green and white textured and layered box. Let's take a look at this week's individual varieties. We've got the fantastic green, really nice and structured leucodendrons. Aren't they just great? They're kind of, they don't feel real, but yeah, they definitely are. We have got the snapdragons, which are fantastic. These are just coming back um, and they're starting to get nice and um, solid in their stems, which is a really good thing to look for when purchasing, um, yeah, snapdragons and really nice flowers all forming up at the top. We've also got one of my favorites, the Lysianthus, which are such a, I don't know, soft and gentle flower. And our textured element this week is the magnolia foliage, which of course has a beautiful lush green side to it and this fantastic contrast with this velvet to touch back of the leaf, which is going to add some really lovely architectural elements and a bit of color contrast to this week's uh, arrangement. So yeah, let's get putting this thing together. So we've had a look at the individual uh, varieties that are coming in your box this week. And what we're going to do now is put the recipe together. So this week's vase is our bloom box vase. It is about 20, 25 centimeters in height, which is perfect for this week's flowers and about 15 centimeters in width. It actually tapers a little bit, as you can see just on that curve, right at the top or the mouth of the vase. That will help the flowers support each other and actually help crisscross the stems, as you'll see today, when we're building this week's recipe. So let's get crackalacking and get into it. We're going to start with the foliage element this week, being the fantastic um, magnolia. The magnolia is going to add some really nice height to our arrangement, um, but also a really nice texture element with the velvet chocolate uh, um, second side. So you just want to grab all of your stems. You can grab them at the same time or individually and just give each of the stems a quick trim just on a little bit of an angle. They've been obviously out of water since they've been packed and so you need to rehydrate them as soon as you receive them. So removing the lower leaves that are going to sit in that water level also will help with the longevity of the arrangement. So then we're going to just position the magnolia stems just at right angles and crisscross them as you're building up each piece. It's gonna be a tall one this way. <laughs> Giving the bars a little bit of a, um, a spin each time will help um, with putting the arrangement together. What you'll notice is that I'm actually thinking that this piece of magnolia is actually a little bit too tall after sort of putting it in. So you just can go back and give it a quick trim and reduce the pieces if you're feeling that they're a little bit, a little bit too tall and you're not liking sort of what, what you're seeing. And you can just go trim, that's better. Now you can see me. <laughs> Next, we're going to work with the snapdragons. So the snapdragons just need a little bit of work um, to help them get ready for the vase. Obviously giving their stems a quick trim. Snapdragon foliage, you don't want any of those bits in the water. So what you need to do is just gently put your fingers either side of the stem and just pull down just with your hands or if you don't want your hands to get sort of like that a bit of green tinge you can actually use a tea tail or a, um, a cloth and just put that either side of the stem and just gently pull down and then position your snapdragon stems just amongst the magnolia again if you get to this stage and you're feeling that the magnolia is too tall or sort of taking over from the rest of the flowers don't feel like you can't sort of pop um, you know remove any of the stems 
And again, give it a trim and then reposition. You don't obviously want the, fo the foliage is an element to the design, but you don't want it to take away from the beautifulness of each of the other elements that are going to sort of maneuver through. Next, we're going to work with these leucodendrums, which are fantastic, nice green, they're, they're really rigid, they're going to give you some fantastic longevity. Again, just give the stems a quick trim. Again, as the snapdragons, you need to just pull down either side to remove that foliage and then nestle them in any little gaps amongst the other flowers giving the vase a little bit of a turn. And then yeah, it's looking great. Now the final element to this week's arrangement is the Lysianthus. The Lysianthus, as you'll see, like this stem's a really good example, there's multiple flowers on each stem. So what you need to do is just gently hand pluck or give the stems a cut first, because they obviously need to hydrate. the stems a little hand pluck and just gently remove the foliage from the bottom that's going to be in the water level if you've got any stems that just need a little bit of a trim to make them look their best do so and then choose your position and then insert them into the vase if you get any little short stems that do break off with the bunch, you can just poke them gently around the edge of the vase, just making sure that their stems are actually in the water. <laughs> now this is the stage where you can go through and manoeuvre any stems that you're not quite happy with the positioning. If you're still feeling like the magnolia is a little bit too tall, feel free to sort of wiggle it around. You can remove some pieces, give it a bit of trim and then re reinsert it into the vase and making sure that none of the leaves or anything are in that sort of water level just so that you have you give the flowers their best chance for great longevity for the week and there you have it that's this week's beautiful crisp snow white box have a great week see you soon